Well, hello! So a couple days ago, I asked Twitter and YouTube the ultimate question in the anime community. And that question is, subs or dubs? And explain why. Well, isn't that just like opening up Pandora's box into an absolute flurry of madness? I woke up to 56 responses on Twitter and 585 responses on YouTube, with more being marked as spam. And yes, it checked, it was spam. And as much as I would love to do every single response given, I simply cannot do all of that. Because it would be an endless void of repeat the same answers for 10 hours straight. I just can't do it. So I picked 14 sincere answers and 14 goofy answers, along with one that kind of transitions from sincere to goofy. And you'll probably see it right away. So how about we all sit back, relax, and let the anime debate begin. Subs, since while you're reading the text, you can learn the language you're listening to. Example, Japanese. This is a real way people have learned languages. Example, me learning English when I came to the US. Plus, hearing the original audio from the anime is more authentic in a way. Subs for goofy stuff because it helps it be less cringy, and dubs for more serious works because it lets you know what's going on, and you can look for all the little details going on screen without being glued to the text bar. Anime dubs, because you can look away and hear what's going on, whereas with subs, you have to constantly stare at the subtitle box at the bottom slash top of the screen. Subs waste more energy than dubs. It depends. If I want to multitask, then dub. Otherwise, I'd like to go for sub, because then I get to hear the voices that the author slash director actually imagined. Depends on who made the dubs. Like with the Studio Ghibli dubs, they spend more time with the translations and have good voice actors, so it makes it more character than words on a screen. But if it's a crappy and hasty television dubs, I would rather not. Subs, because I often have the anime playing while doing something else, and I'd like to know what they're saying. Extreme dinosaurs. Occasionally, I'll watch them subbed if I'm not working on anything else, but it's rare. Or if there's no available dub and I really want to see the anime. I'm good with either, but it depends on two things. One, whether I've seen it already, and two, if it's more slow pace. I can read super fast, but like, too fast is too fast, you know? Plus, reading distracts from the actual show. The upside to dubs is that I have it on in the background and not pay much attention. The downside to dubs is that the voices can be weird sometimes, but all in all, anime is anime and we can enjoy it whatever way makes us happy. To add an international perspective, generally in the Philippines, more people prefer sub than the English or local dub. Dubs aren't as easily accessible. We don't have legal websites catering to our local dubs, just on TV. And the only 24-7 local dub channel closed this year. The last remaining anime channel airs anime with subs, which leaves us with less platforms and us dubbers with scarce anime dubbing work. Having said that, we don't do simul dubs, so people prefer to watch the sub because it comes out a lot faster than the dub. And those reasons are only apart from the people who believe sub is superior to dub. Oh, one last thing to add. Major TV networks usually have time slots for dubbed anime as part of their morning cartoons, or in the afternoon. It's been this way for years. Grew up on it too, but that's about it, and they're usually just reruns of older anime like Detective Conan. To be blunt, I mainly enjoy what is given. I love dub, especially considering the work of what Funimation, Bang Zoom, and many others have done. But subs are a way to see it in the original manner, as it gives a bit of a unique perspective. I like both, but there are some I would prefer one over the other. Like, I would only watch One Piece's dub only, as well as Cowboy Bebop's and Dragon Ball's for certain reasons. Dubs! Aside from the fact that it helps in voice acting, since you can observe many things in dubs that may be applied once you enter the booth. Unless the dubs are poorly directed, then yeah, I'm going to subs. Also, dubs are really neat, especially when you want to appreciate the animation more than a small area of text. I like dubs, however many times they don't sync well with the lip movements. Not only that, but the script is often modified slightly or changed completely. And many times studios like Funimation will use the same 10 to 14 voice actors in the dub, which is really annoying. I don't think one is inherently better than the other. I like both in certain shows. Like in Pop Teen Epic, I watched most of both, but in certain cases, I can only stand one or the other. If I start with the dub, I don't usually like the sub, and vice versa. It honestly depends on the content and the characters. Perhaps I'd want to watch some sort of action anime, then I choose dubs because there is no language gap and you can connect easier with the heroes. If I'd rather watch something more lighthearted or funny, I wouldn't care too much, so I just choose subs. As personally think it adds to the wackiness of it. That's usually the format that I use, with a few exceptions here or there. I figure there's no need to focus exclusively on subs or dubs. 
Sometimes the sub sucks, but the dub's better, or vice versa. You can't judge one type of anime viewing based on certain performances. All in all, both types have a lot of work behind them, and both have their ups and downs. It's good to evaluate both and treat both the same way. It's like cats and dogs, if cats and dogs are types of anime. Yeah. Wow, that was bad. Subs, because producers of anime normally painstakingly take their time finding the perfect voice actors. Dubs generally use only a handful of voice actors, and it doesn't really help with immersing the show when all you can hear is Kirito or some shit. And here comes the goofy transition. You can tell your mom you've been reading when you really been been watching some show for six hours straight. Neither, just read the manga instead. Sub, so when the random pink-haired girl is talking at a frequency no human can hear, I can actually decipher what she's saying through the captions. Subs, because why listen to them bitch in your own language? Both, because choices are hard and I don't like them. Dubs, because reading is for nerds. Dubs, because I don't speak the Japanese language. Dubs, so I can multitask and can't do that when I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Oh, hey, English sub Tokyo Ghoul. Um, blueberries are blue. I'm not doing anything right now, okay? English dub hard and cold. Japanese soft and warm. I interpretive dance. You know I want to see that. The moaning is better in Japanese. Are so good subs. <sighs> Dubs, because then you can actually concentrate on the power of anime and God being on your side instead of reading Overwatch OCs. At least subs are edible. I'm more of a hoagie guy myself. Typically I like subs, but if you really want to be entertained, have the subtitles on while playing the dubbed version. Oh my god! Both simultaneously so I can talk over the show like a jackass without missing dialogue. And get a drink without missing the dialogue. I like the way you think, Gianni. I feel like if I didn't do this at the end of the video, I would probably get asked, What are my opinions? Am I a subs or dubs guy? The answer is both. Cause to me, the debate makes no true sense. Like, to say something is better than the other is still purely subjective. There's no true fact or evidence or just the paranoia mass wall full of papers with red strings pointing at other strings saying, this is why dubs are better than subs. Or this is why subs are better than dubs. It doesn't exist. I feel like the idea of watching an anime is you could sit down and watch both because it's not about which one is better than the other, it's about realizing how different our languages are truly are. And that a group of people sat down and actually translated one language into another to create a show that almost can create a different experience. Like my personal favorite to watch in Japanese and English dubbing is Fuli Kuli. Both of the audio tracks are so contrasting to each other. The Japanese one has a lot more of like the lackluster vibes that you would want in a show that is just as ridiculous as it looks visually. Whereas the English dub almost feels like it becomes its own separate show. It actually feels more like a over-the-top American cartoon. Like, similar to Mega Sex Solar or the original Teen Titans, and maybe a little bit of Teen Titans Go. I can get why some English dubs can be off-putting. Not to say that they're bad, but off-putting. Because if there's one thing that should be understood about the Japanese language, is that grammatically, and in terms of speaking it, they're very different from English. In Japanese dialogue, there used to be a term that would go around for it, and I don't remember the exact term for it, but it was close to Ishoni Shigoto Kajiya, which roughly translates to blacksmiths working together. In Japanese forging, blacksmiths actually work together by hitting a hammer back and forth, so it kind of works in tandem with each other. This is similar into their dialogue, whereas if you watch a Japanese show, a lot of time they will acknowledge what the other person is saying before they make their own response. It's complimentary. It's acknowledging what the person has said. In English dialogue, we don't really do that a lot. Most of our time, our acknowledgement in dialogue is usually in the forms of questioning. So when dubbing first started, we tried to stay close to that, but then it ended up just sounding so off in our dialogue. So how does dubbing fix this? Well, we make it closer to how we speak. Like My Hero Academia, it's got a good combination of a lot of the English grammar that we use, along with keeping the formalities that Japan has. 
If you haven't done it yet, I would suggest this is also one of the shows that you watch simultaneously in English and Japanese. You could probably do that by subscribing to Verve or something, I don't know. So my final thoughts, it's okay to have a preference, but honestly, I feel like in this industry, both the dubs and the subs should have an equal level of respect. That said, thank you guys so much for joining me on this debate, and hopefully we get to do more debates like this soon. Take care!